Welcome back to DXB Today. It's all been about doctors, but now we want to talk about food because one of the biggest food festivals that comes to the UAE just happened. And we want to take a little look at the food, the music, and the good times. So we sent down Khalid to check out the fresh lineup of gourmet food, interactive chefs, live entertainment. Have a look at this. I'm here at Taste of Dubai where they have 16 pop-up master chefs giving classes, live music and entertainment. My taste buds are racing, so I'm gonna go and try out everything. I'm here with executive chef Chris, who is the executive chef of Waterfront Market. It's a pleasure having you here with us. And I just seen your class that you were teaching uh, the public here at the Taste of Dubai. But tell us more of what you do. So I'm Chef Chris, I'm executive president of the Chef at Waterfront Market. Uh, Waterfront Market is a very unique place. And for the second year, we run the Waterfront Market barbecue school at Taste of Dubai with ingredients only from Waterfront Market. So Waterfront Market is a place with seafood and fish, uh, meat and poultry, fruits and vegetables, spices uh, and good uh, dry. Now to this year, since you're at the Taste of Dubai, what can we expect? So today uh, I make sessions for, for a recipe. One of my recipes I have in the first recipe book, Water for Market by Chef Chris, we released today. So it's a famous, it's from Chris, this recipe in, called Pitagiros. And I would like people to know the barbecue is not just with barbecue, that's all. You can cook, you can create on barbecue. I'm here with the marketing director of Mina Live Events, Maddie Spicer. It's a pleasure having you here with us. Tell us what we can expect this year from Taste of Dubai. Yeah, so this year at Taste of Dubai, it's expected to be our biggest one yet. Uh, Mina Live Events was a company established last year, and it was um, our first time bringing Taste of Dubai back in kind of a new format, a new look and feel, new activations. Um, so we were really excited to kind of rejuvenate um, the event that was a Dubai favorite for so long. Um, and this year, we're expecting more people. We're at a brand new venue. We have brand new features. So even for people that have come to taste every single year, there's always something new for them to do. Now, since this year, I seen that we have uh, Diba Bay oysters. Tell us a bit about the shock off competition. Yeah, so we're really excited to have um, the Diba Bay shock off with us this year. Um, it's the finale of the Diba Bay Oyster Festival, um, which has been running for the past couple weeks. Uh, and also this year, what we have that's new is every single restaurant has a kid's dish on it as well. So there's something for, for the whole family to come out and enjoy. Plus there's music and live entertainment all weekend, tons of shopping. We have artisan vendors, we have established brands uh, with really cool activations. So there's lots in store for everyone to check out. Well, it sounds all amazing and I can't wait to walk around more and see more of the place. But thank you so much, Maddie, for having a chat with us. Thank you. I'm here with Chef Gary and you might recognize him from Master Chef Australia. Well, it's a pleasure having you here with <laughs> thank us. Thank you very much. Tell us what inspired you to be a part of Taste of Dubai this year. Uh, well, I got asked, number one, okay. and it's got a great reputation. So I said yes. And also just the fact that we were asked together. So Matt and George, who were both you know, uh, judges on MasterChef for 11 years together. Uh, so yeah, it's like getting the band back together, coming to Dubai and, you know, showing off a little bit and cooking some food. So yeah, it's nice. And of course, I always like to ask this question, what advice would you give to upcoming chefs? Ooh. Make sure you really love what you do. I mean, it's like anything, you know, you could, I don't know, you could be an aircraft engineer or a chef or, or a firefighter, it doesn't matter, but you gotta love what you do. And it's a, it's a career that um, you're surrounded by people. You're very engaged with, um, you know what you do and if you don't love it then get out and go do something else i've been doing this for 40 years now and i still look forward to learning um, i enjoy food wherever i am and i don't know it's my whole life 